Well, Scott, I think that when it comes to the retirement issue, I think what happens is that people have access to information way more than, than they yes. used to. Yes. And you can pull up retirement on online on the internet and think, oh, well, I've got everything I need because there's all this information right here. But then you start digging into it and you'll find this article that says this and this article that says something completely different. Mm -hmm. And so it is something that we believe is best left to the professionals, the folks that do this on a day-to-day -day basis, a week-to-week -week basis. It is incredibly critical because there are no do-overs yeah. in retirement. Right. You know, you can always back up on the house and, and you know, <laughs> do, you know, tear that down and, and fix it again or do it again. If you have money. If you have money. Yeah. But retirement's not one of those things. Right. And I, I think even, you know, I talked about myself in my project where I actually was the general contractor. I still relied heavily on professionals. I, I, I was making phone calls. I was not hammering nails. Right. I mean, the guys that knew what they were doing when it came to drywall. They were the experts on the drywall. The guys that framed my house, they were the experts on framing the house. The concrete yeah. guys. I mean, you brought multiple subcontractors into the overall construction of your home because they each had specialist roles, and, and they knew way more than me. So I think the same is true when it comes to – I think it's a great point that you bring up. You can do a Google search about how to invest, the latest stock tips, uh, all of these things, but – how do you really apply them in your overall plan? And I, and I understand it. I, I understand it from the standpoint of most of the people we're talking about right now, if you've been investing very long, you've been in a bull market for much of that ride, right? I mean, I know that we yep. corrected last year and started a new one, but from 2009 until last year, we were on an upward trend and it was almost like you could do no wrong. Throw yeah. some money at something yeah. and it went up. Yeah, you can't fail. And and that's one of the uh, kind of the lures of this is, oh, well, this is easy. Right. It is until it isn't. Yeah. And, and when you look at, you know, if you pull up an article, let's say, on retirement, what you're going to find is that article says something like this. I actually got this written out here. The, the precise weighting of stocks and bonds in your portfolio should be derived based on your age, investment horizon, income needs, and risk tolerance. Womp womp. Yeah, try that. And do that one yourself. Mm -hmm. that, that's a little bit complex. And so retirement is one of those things that uh, you don't want to get it wrong because if you get it wrong and you're down the road before you realize that you've gotten it wrong, then, Chad, it's really too late. Well, and you got to also think about the, how many tools that you need to build a house. I mean, you think about the size of a shop that you need just to store all the different types of tools and the specialties for each plumber, electrician, everything. And it's the same with, with us as advisors. Advisors, you know, there is so many tools that we have, you know, in our tool chest that we call it that, you know, not all the time. We're not using them every day. Right. Right. But we have access to them. And but we know when the right time is to use that specific tool. And that's really where, you know, do the do it yourself retirement. How do you know how do you know you use the right tool? 